Um, tell us a little bit about the resurgence of Fordham and when and how did you get to know about it and yeah. how did you get involved? Uh, well, it's, it's kind of a bit of a story, but I actually, maybe about eight years ago, I started doing research about how I could get the trademark from Burton to relaunch Forum Snowboards. And I was in the process of doing that and I found out that there was another trademark attorney that was doing the same thing as me. Okay. So I, I connected with him and started to have a discussion about what it would take to get the trademark. And then I had a, a really big crisis happen in my life with my, my wife was in a bad accident. So I, I stepped away from snowboarding for a few years. Okay. And during that time, this guy, uh, he obtained the trademark and he talked to Jeremy Jones, Peter Line and MacDog and they relaunched the brand. And uh, it had been going already for maybe like one year. I was riding for Santa Cruz and then my time at Santa Cruz ended and so I had a conversation with Jeremy and Mac Dog and they asked me to ride for Forum again. Yeah, so it was, it was overwhelming the first time they asked me to ride for them, like back in 97 or something. And so to be asked again now, like uh, 20 years later, will I ride for Forum again? It's kind of unreal, you know? Perfect. So sounds yeah. good. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I hope everything is good with your family and your wife. Yeah, thanks for it. Thanks for that. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm good right now, and my wife's well. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. That's good. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. But uh, everything is good with your wife, and um, yeah, she she's she was in a you know she had a, a traumatic brain injury yeah. and broke her back, and she had two brain surgeries, really big spine surgery, okay, yeah. and she was in a coma. How it's, long? Uh, a month. One month. Oh. And she was uh, in the hospital in the ICU for four months, and then she—it was like a two, kind of like a two-year recovery, okay, uh, to kind of get back to like some kind of normal capacity. Yeah. And her and I both have just been doing a, a lot of rehab and therapy, and I've done a lot of like therapy for uh, my head basically because I really uh, kind of have like PTSD and uh, a lot of anxiety ever since that happened because it was so traumatic so I've just been spending a lot of time like you know connecting with my wife and doing yeah. therapy and uh, yeah. skateboarding and surfing and snowboarding so yeah. it's okay. kind of been, been wild it's been quite a journey yeah. well, thank you very much yeah. for sharing no yeah. it's like uh, I'm very happy to hear that you overcame that yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah it's a kind of an ongoing process and we're yeah. still doing stuff uh, every you know, she does stuff every day to take care of herself, and I'm doing, you know, kind of therapy pretty regular just to yeah. kind of keep myself uh, sane and uh, yeah. get back some of what I lost in, in all of that. So it's been quite a journey. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, and yeah. all the best for the future yeah. as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> what would you like Fordham to contribute to the snowboard community? I think it's you know it's it's for each person to kind of discover themselves what they want the brand to be for them. So like in the beginning when we launched it like back in the 90s, I don't think we had really like an agenda that we wanted uh, to do. We just kind of had like an authentic sense of of how we wanted our writing to be, and then whatever the people or the customers took from that was. It was okay. So I don't have uh, an expectation that the fans or the customers do it some certain kind of way. Only if it speaks to them and they like what we're doing, that they uh, that they get involved and ride the boards. And maybe they like it because it reminds them of the the old forum, or maybe they just like it new because they're seeing like the the technology and the construction, and they think it's good stuff. So it's whatever. Whatever speaks to the to the customer, yeah. yeah. Okay. So talking about the good old days, uh, yeah. which photo movie is your favorite? I personally like True Life, and that came out in 2001. That was the second forum movie we made, and I just I really liked where snowboarding was at in general at that mm -hmm. time, and and especially I guess where I was in my progression and what I was focusing on like kind of really diving into like the street snowboarding part and just the timing of like where I was at and with uh, 
where Forum was at because it was it was growing a lot. It was such a there were so many things coming together all at the same time, and the, the impact from that video was just really big. Kind of hard to explain <laughs> how big it was. So. It's just a really memorable time, and it was still the original Forum 8 team, like the guys that we started with. So, and we, everyone was still really young and excited, and maybe not too bitter or jaded by then. So it was just really pure, and we had a good squad, and everyone from like the the filmers to the guys that produced it and uh, created all the ads and everything. It was like the perfect mixture of everybody. It was like the best of everybody. So. So yeah, yeah, talking about the Forum 8, um, are you still in contact with everyone and do you know yeah. what they are up to today? Yeah, I'm pretty much in contact with most of the guys, I'd say. You know, I, I go to Finland a lot to do rails, I'll see Malmi sometimes. Uh, I don't see Vile often, but I do see him in the United States because he's in Portland. But I talk to Duffacy, I see Devin quite a bit. I'm riding with Jeremy almost every day. Um, Who did I forget? I, oh, Bjorn. I see Bjorn quite often. He's in Utah too. So, yeah, I'm still like in pretty fa fairly decent contact with everybody. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty rad. What movie part are you most proud of? I mean, I like my my part in True Life because of some of those reasons I said, like of like the my focus on the street snowboarding. Uh, I also really like my part in that, which came out in 2006. Just because, like, I hit I hit some of like the biggest stuff I ever hit at that time, and the movie was really well produced and and uh, just had kind of the same energy as the like the True Life video as well. So that one was cool. I also really liked um, the all switch part that I filmed for Stepchild in 32. That was in 2009, but that was a pretty big. Uh, undertaking to try to film all season switch I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to, to do it of course, yeah. and um, and when at the end of the year when I had enough footage for like a full video part I was like kind of like uh, just felt like a really big accomplishment so I know I know you asked for one but that was three yeah. <laughs> no it's okay but I had a lot so it's kind of hard to uh, to narrow course, them all yeah. down you know all good. And, all at, good. and at the same time the, the, the very last part I filmed for uh, for visitors for video grass I'm really proud of that one too because I was like you know I was 40 years old and I was like hitting street rails still and going to Finland and getting down on crazy stuff so to be like that old and riding with guys that are so much younger than me and like yeah. holding it down like that and still having a really good part that can stacked up with the other guys yeah. parts that's kind of like I, I feel really proud of that yeah Uh, how would you characterize the new Forum lineup and yeah. who is it made for? I mean, I would say the new Forum lineup is the construction and the quality is light years ahead of the original stuff. <laughs> it just yeah. it just feels really solid. And I actually don't like boards that are too complicated and too technical. Yeah. Like I kind of like just a more simple basic vibe, something that like uh a customer or a fan that's not maybe like that advanced, they can still ride it and like as someone that's really good can still ride it. So it's like, I think it's a good mix of like uh, all levels can kind of ride ride the new stuff. And it's, it's built well so that really comes through like in the way that you connect with the board and the way you ride. It's like you don't have to work against like maybe a bad design or bad construction and use extra energy so it's like I like the kind of the ease of use and just like the simplicity of it and the quality construction that's kind of the, the stuff I like about it oh, yeah. yeah and the, gra and the graphics, and the graphics yeah. <laughs> can you give us a little sneak peek about next year's products what's coming out and are you I, involved in that process at all I am I just yeah. got I just got like a kind of like a line sheet for the new forum graphics and I can't say exactly what it's going to be but they kind of have a, a theme that they're doing that's going to run completely under like all the the whole line so at first it's like uh, 
I can't I can't say too much and give it away because I don't know how much I just barely got just got like a, a sample of the new graphics from Theater Line the other day so I don't know how much they're going to change but they look really cool people are going to recognize them a lot because they they are kind of throwing back to like some of the more older famous graphics so it's really recognizable that way and it kind of has an underlying theme to all of them too like a similar theme that runs through all the boards so I, I think that people will be pretty stoked on that. It looks cool. And then a year out from that, we might be having like a, a surprise and then also some pretty cool collabs coming up as well with some of my other sponsors. So, okay. So some, uh, yeah. That's a good sneak. Sorry. Idea. How's it going? <laughs> you can Sorry. join the interview. Come, come. No, join the interview. No, come, come join the interview. Hello, hello. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. I want to meet you as well. Yeah. 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 And uh, just a random question: Like, where yeah. would you like to see Fordham in 20 years? 20 years from now? I've never really gotten so far ahead of like. Uh, what I what I want to do too far ahead. I I've kind of always tried to stay more in the present moment and the year that's in front of me. Because yeah. I find if I thought too far ahead, I would kind of yeah, make, yeah. get anxious or stress myself out. So I don't have any big expectations like long term. I just uh, kind of want to year by year focus on it and do like what's feels good and authentic to me. And yeah. thank you very much for yeah. your interview you. with yeah. you. Yeah, cheers. And uh, yeah. shake the hand of this guy. Cheers. And now mine. Thank and you. now, do you have any cool dance moves? I do. If I have a da if I have a dance yeah. partner, I need a partner. Though. There's a partner. Yeah. Hey, you have the dance partner of JP Walker. We need you. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. Hey, we need music too. What kind of music you want? Yeah. Some music. Oh. Oh yeah. Da, da, da. Some music. We need some music. <laughs> 